as good as he used to be. And then he just like shows up and then everyone is like, yeah, okay, I guess Almar's not that bad. You know, I, the, Almar, I think, was really underrated in the very beginning. Oh, absolutely. Uh, and then the buzz. Yep. <laughs> well, the, the buzz, and because, I think, because oh. he was so much weaker compared to his brawl iteration. Okay, so he Anyways. is using Hammer Spin. Uh, sorry, I just. Yeah. So True Blue, actually, uh, last match was using Hammer Spin Dash 2. Uh, yeah. They can blow it up. You want to click the thing. Ugh. Yeah, I can't reach the mouse from here. Uh, so, this one. Uh, I'm not sure which one. Probably that one. Yeah, there we go. Okay, great. So, uh, now, onto the match here. Uh, Myron is at 40% uh, and True Blue is not running a double up B, interestingly, uh, this time. Uh, we did see him last on stream, uh, and he was running a double up B. And, uh, oh no, I'm lying. Oh he no, is. he is. Yeah, he okay. Is. Uh, so, but do you know, uh, is Myron using any customs he, does he tend to? Uh, if he was, I wouldn't know which. I mean, uh, <laughs> fair, that's a very fair answer. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, who, there who really knows what all Mars customs do? I mean, there were those, uh, the really, uh, powerful Pikmin that did that thing with the, uh, yeah. Fox Reflector. Yeah, that was but the, the second down B or something like that was yeah. the, the trick to it. But, uh, uh, interesting. You see the win box there on the custom uh, down B from, uh, True Blue's, uh, spin dash there. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, it has a win box in, in uh, the front and the back, and one pulls, one pushes. Um, and, uh, True Blue is, uh, racking up that damage. It, it, this was actually a bad matchup for Sonic, I believe, in Brawl, if I recall correctly. Yeah, but, but it's uh, it's not looking that way in this mm. case. Although Myron, wow, jumping into a charged up smash, not a great way to end his first stock. Myron's at a zero percent as a sec on the second stock, but sixty percent as first stock. True Blue has a commanding lead, like right now. That that hammer spin dash just gives Sonic so much more mobility. Yes, it's crazy. It is. Although it does have a very predictable pattern, but the, yeah. the key to it is he can jump out at, at from frame one. Mm -hmm. So. So you have to really be able to predict where it's going to go based on... And on it's got invincibility style. on startup, too. So you can't punish that. Does it? Uh, I'm, I believe so. Hmm. I, I'm pretty sure the regular... Uh, the regular... Side yeah. yeah. And this one both have uh, invincibility oh, on that startup. That explains some things. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, wow. I'm, I, you know what? I looked at you and I looked back and, and somehow Triple lost the stock. But the, now we got a, a real game here. Yeah. Uh, very close. And you can definitely tell that Myron is a... Is a Skilled all mob for all mob though. Oh so my! I can, yeah, I can see why you're getting hyped about this match. Oh, absolutely. And it's funny because these are two characters that people are like. I mean, it's it's. Sometimes it's hard to watch them, but this is like a really exciting match. Like. And uh, oh, that's the hammer spin actually oh, just a backer there. Not a great conversion uh, for the berry. And Almar is taking a spacing game to the next level here. Ooh, wow. wow. Okay. Classic Sonic main kills himself, unfortunately, on last stock, and and kind of ending what it was very, very interesting and fun to watch back and forth. Yeah, that I mean, it's it's a really like interesting matchup because I mean, the thing is, True Blue is doing a really good job of mm -hmm. staying on Olimar because if you're not on Olimar, then he he has Pikmin's on you. Right. Pikmin. Right. Pikmin on you. Yeah, Pikmin's. Pikmin. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. You know, those Pikmen. Yeah, the Pikmen, The yes. Pikmen, yeah. Has, has the Pikmen on you. Yeah, uh, so, I mean, he was keeping in really close, and uh -huh. when he wasn't there, he was across the stage, too far to actually, um... Yep. Uh, so, actually, the, uh, someone just came in and told me that the first stock was an SD, unfortunately. So, you just hit the plus button. Oh, okay. On, um... Yeah, the plus on Myron, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, so. Oh, we're taking um, it to town city. You know, as a Sonic player, uh, uh, I know a little bit about this matchup. Not too much, not too many Almars, but I do know that the, the pivot grab uh, is really killer um, with Almar against Sonic. So it's really interesting. I don't see Myron doing that at all. He's still doing very well. Uh, but I really I want to see more of those pivot grabs from him. I think that would really make a huge difference here. Uh, absolutely, especially if it gives him increased range like he does with some characters, because yes. uh, that will just take him right out of uh, the spins. Yeah, exactly. And that's what's so hard with Sonic to approach is because he wow. Has his okay, that was really interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, the way that the uh, the Pikmin increased the length of the hitbox on all of the things that yeah. that is really I think that's really good for uh, Myron in this case because it, it gives him more time to react. Is, yeah. But at the same time, it's fun with Sonic to utilize that and change the timing of your attack sometimes. Yeah. And, and hit the all so they don't predict it. But, uh, and <laughs> no, this tournament is not in Michigan. Uh, I think it probably, you probably recognize me. Uh, I actually moved to Florida recently. So, been here one week. 
And Ooh. up smash on the platform. That'll take yeah. it. Great conversion off the berry there for Myron. And that just kills being stuck in there and then just being like watching Sonic charge up that up smash. Cause, yes. Ugh. Yeah. Um, and 112% Myron's not getting up though. One solid smash Ooh. will take the stock. And throwing out those Pikmin, trying to rack up a little bit of damage. The players are standing in neutral. Yeah. Ooh. Like, neither of them want to engage right now. Uh, and that's understandable. But yeah, oh, yeah nice True Blue wanted there, to there. keep that uh, mm -hmm. True Blue wanted to keep that lead, and then he ended up having to go in, and then that's what cost him the stock. Yep, and uh, gets the up throw. Ooh. Oh, doesn't get a combo off of it, but lands a little platform, makes it safe there. Myron at 35%, just throwing out the Pikmin. Nice Wow, grab. that was beautiful. Excellent move there. Yeah, the way that he just keeps his Pikmin and then just mm -hmm. goes in to help, like, get that grab because I'm pretty sure that uh, Almar can get the grab from wherever his Pikmin are. Yeah. And you can see here that uh, Almar, oh, racking up damage, but Sonic getting some solid combos. Almar has only one Pikmin left. Ooh. Oh, a berry. Nice conversion. Just a little bit of extra damage. I believe berry characters take a little bit uh, less percentage as well. Don't kill me if I'm wrong. <laughs> but a nice up smash. And, oh. And both players at a very similar percent here. They're they're playing this really interesting neutral game. Neither wants to approach, but and if you're oh uh, wow yeah. that was that was incredible. Ooh, sorry. And sorry something I was going to say, uh, if you're noticing towards the end of that match, oh. uh, Myron was saying underneath those platforms that were moving back and forth mm -hmm. to um to basically prevent um uh huh click here and then click. Uh, Ah, there we go. Uh, what he was doing towards the end of that match was he was staying underneath those platforms. Mm -hmm. So this way, uh, when Sonic d initiated his uh, side B, it would go on top of the platform, and he wouldn't be able to get those, uh, you know, those locks into the ground. Yeah, like he was staying really safe with that, uh, and doing a really good job of that too. 